Hi everybody, Aaron Solomon here. Um, this lesson is about Parashat Vaitchanan, which is also Parashat Nachamu, the first of the seven uh, consolation haftarot that we read between uh, Tisha B'Av and Rosh Hashanah. Nachamu, Nachamu Ami, be consoled, be consoled, uh, my people. And this consolation is apparently in contradiction with the parasha itself, with the portion of the Torah we read, which is Parashat Vaitchanan, where Moshe prays for Hashem. Vaitchanan is actually begs, and I have begged. He begs to uh, enter, to pass into the land of Israel, and Hashem says no. Actually, I think it's perhaps the most uh, apparently unsuccessful um, prayer that we have recorded in our scriptures. Uh, such a no, such a resolute no from Hashem. He says, don't, don't pray again on this. Don't, don't, don't talk to me about this anymore. He tells him to stop. And actually, these, uh, this, this prayer is actually the 515th prayer, according to, our, uh, according to a uh, saying in, uh, in Chachamim. Vayit um, numeric the numerical value of Vayit is 515. So, uh, this is the 515th prayer that he prayed. There is a saying also that uh, if he would have prayed the 516th prayer, Hashem couldn't refuse. So that's the reason Hashem asks him not to pray again. Ravlach, Al Tosef, don't, don't, conti don't continue with praying. So this is not very consoling as a, as a, as a portion of Torah, which is coupled with the Aftara of uh, Nachamu. Um, but it is from, from this parasha that a uh, halachot of tefillah are learned. We learn, for instance, that when we pray to Hashem, we, we, we must, just like Moshe, begin with praise of Hashem, and only then ask uh, what we want from Him. And uh, so that's a very important prayer. And looking closer, we see things are not as simple as they look. Because let us see, what did Moshe ask from Hashem? He said, Let me pass, let me pass into the land of Israel, and I shall see. So Hashem says, no, you shall not pass. But he says, mount, go up to the mountain of Avarim, Har Avarim, the mountain of sides. And... From there, Moshe has a vision. He sees. He sees perhaps much more than he expected. He sees miraculously all of Israel from that mountain. Furthermore, our sages say that he, he saw from there the history, the complete history of the people of Israel until the end of times. So he asked to see, and he saw. He saw much more. What did he ask else? He asked to pass into the land of Israel. Well, he will pass into the land of Israel, as we as as we learn from our sages. When the dead rise, it is Moshe who will lead the generation of of the of uh, of the desert, Dor Midbar, those Jews who went out from Egypt and died in the desert because of the sin of the spies. And it will be Moshe, the leader, who will lead them to the land of Israel at the end of days in Tchayat Avetim. So, every prayer is effective, even though we can't see it. And if, even if we, and I want to go even deeper than that, and for that what I like to do is to examine the, uh, the letters of our holy tongue, of, of Lashon HaKodesh, as it is in the Torah, let us look at this parasha. There, I use my, the board again. Look at the root 
of the world um, Eberana. Eberana. Moshe asked to pass. And the root of to pass is la'avor, is ein bet reish. That's in, incidentally, is also the, the, the root of ivrit, of, of, of our language, which is from ivri, to pass. Um, he is told to mount the mountain of avarim, har ha'avarim. Again, this root of Ein Bet Reish, I'll mark it here too. However, here means sides. So we have Eberana to pass, and we have Avarim side. And all this takes place in Ever Hayarden. You better have the Chumash in front of you, especially if you're not uh, watching this live. Ever Hayarden. So again, we have this root of Ein Bet Reish, which is Ever Arden. That's the bank, the banks of the Jordan, the Jordan uh, River. And finally, and that's the most interesting of all, when he asked from Hashem to pass through, he, told, he tells us that, Vayit'aber Hashem bi lema'anchem. Vayit'aber Hashem be le ma'anchem. means literally that his wrath was upon me. And his wrath was upon me because of you, because of your sins. Hashem was angry at me and he didn't let me pass into the land of Israel. But the word Vait Abel is similar or the the the, yeah, the, the, the this root uh, serves in another word which is ubar ubar in hebrew in Lashon kodesh is embryo embryo but it's spelled like this um, and this phrase, Vayitaber Hashem Bidim Anchem, may be strangely interpreted also as that I became like an embryo inside Hashem. What could it be? Like some kind of pregnancy. And that's exactly what I said before. That, and that was Lema Anchem in your cause, for your sake. So Moshe says, I have become like, a, like an embryo in a womb. I was planted there for your sake. As we just said, that it is his role to lead the people of Israel, to unite all the Jews together in the land of Israel in the, in the, in the times to come. Perhaps this is, is, is even a symbol, only a symbol, of 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 uh, fetching all of the people of Israel from all the world now, even now, bringing all the diaspora back to the land of Israel. And all this is because of the prayer of Moshe. Because if Moshe hadn't prayed prayed this prayer, perhaps he wouldn't have seen this vision. Perhaps if Moshe hadn't prayed, he wouldn't have merit be, 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 be uh, haven't merited to be become the leader of all the Jews to unite, uh, to, to, to unite them together as one. So, again we see that every prayer is always, is ever useful, even if we don't feel it, if we don't see it in our eyes, it is always effective. And it is like sowing something, it's like, it's like an embryo which is planted in the womb of the mother. By the way, uh, the, the, this, this root, uh, Ubar, is because the embryo passes through, through the mother. So the embryo is there and is there waiting to be born to do its duty, to do what it, what it was meant to, to do. And so all our prayers are, are sown, are planted somewhere in the womb, somewhere up, up in heaven. 
and it is only waiting for the time when the time is ripe to come forth and and uh, uh, and and give us its blessing so let us uh, pray to, to let, let, let us hope to have good prayers indeed and and we we are sure that our prayers go go and are effective and uh, we should see very fast very quickly our redemption in Rabbi Amen Amen Shabbat Shalom